St. Albans educator has her first court appearance following allegations of an inappropriate relationship with a BFA student. Good evening, I'm George Mallet. And I'm Stephanie Gorin. Well, BFA administrators called in law enforcement as soon as they learned of the allegations against Nicola Smith. An investigation and arrest followed in short order. WPTC's Vanessa Mishania joins us live in the newsroom with the latest on today's arraignment. Vanessa. Stephanie George, court papers said that investigation started when Smith confided in a co-worker at Bellows Free Academy, telling her about the alleged sexual relationship Smith had with a sophomore who goes to BFA St. Albans. Now, on top of losing her job, the mother is charged with three sex offenses with a minor. With her head down, Nicola Smith said nothing after facing a trio of sex charges in Franklin County Court and was released under conditions. Inside, the 35 year old former high school paraeducator pleaded not guilty to those charges, which include sexual exploitation of a minor, sexual assault of a victim under 16, and luring a child. 24 hour rule, and uh, it is not guilty. According to court papers, police say in December of last year, Smith started communicating with a then or who she met in a woodshop class at Bellows Free Academy where she worked. Police say Smith told them the two flirted at school and then that allegedly led to the sharing of sexually explicit texts and eventually inappropriate pictures from both parties through the app Snapchat. According to police, at the end of February, three days before the minor's 16th birthday, they had consensual sex in the back of her car. A couple weeks later, she was fired. Because of a general knowledge that sex offenders are opportunistic, the reason for the blanket request is that all of those particular sites have the ability to do the same thing as um, Snapchat. Among the conditions of release, the court is now barring her from sharing pictures of any kind and has banned her from using any social media as the mother now awaits her next court appearance. Other conditions of her release laid out by the court is that she must stay 500 feet away from the victim's home, the school, and Collins, Collins Purley Fitness Center. She also cannot be near boys under the age of 16. No word yet on her next court appearance. Live in the newsroom, Vanessa Mishania, WPTZ News Channel 5.